Oke, okay. good morning. Good morning. Oke, okay. um, everyone here? All good, all good. Oke, okay. alright. So we are going to learn about two instruments today, but I think better for me to give the explanation about the instruments afterwards because this is going to take time. Um, we're going to take um, these two instruments. We got the thermal camera here and also the chlorophyllometer here. We're going to take the measurement before watering and after watering, which is meant for the thermal camera. And then for the spat meter, du during darkness, and then after like half an hour to one hour after you put it under the light. Because we want to see whether the chlorophyll is different after you have subjected the leaf to intense sunlight. Because we know light is needed to activate various enzymes. Okay, for example, like um, Rubisco activase. Without light, don't just think light is needed for photosystem to produce ATP and NADPH. Light is also needed to activate various enzymes in the leaf. Okay, so this activation, kind of like casket reaction, one thing happened, it leads to another, it will change the conformation of molecules in the plant cells. Okay, and we can see something probably by this machine. I don't know, maybe you get less chlorophyll, more chlorophyll. Okay, the plants that you're going to work with today, it, what plant is this? Shouldn't you know this one? Because we worked with the like call last week. Colias. Colias, okay. So the one thing good about colias is the leaves are variegated, meaning that two or more colors are present in one leaf. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the reading of the chlorophyll based on the red part and then move the clip to the green part, okay? And then turn the leaf. You see the leaf got the upper side and the underside, upper side of the leaf, what do you call it? Abaxial, are you sure? Upper side of the leaf is abaxial? Abaxial or adaxial? Some say abaxial, some say adaxial. Up, what B? Up, upper, upper side of the leaf. Is it a vaccine or a daxil? A daxil. A daxil and a vaccil. A daxil is the upper side. Underside is a vaccil. Okay? So take the reading again for the underside of the leaf. Okay? This leaf is rather veiny, you know, got some veins protruding out of it, the, 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 the ribbed texture that you feel under it. Please avoid that. You don't want to take the chlorophyll reading from the veins. You want from the leaf tissue. Okay? All right. So use the leaf which has been um, covered with this aluminum foil. Okay? And then um, you're going to put the... You're going to water the plant for both pots, each pot for each group. And then we put it under the light. The light is in the next door. You, you see the LED right, right, we have. So we put the light there, under the light for one hour, fully watered. And then we come to take the reading again, both for the thermal camera and also for the... Um, uh, chlorophyll meter. Okay, do um, you want to see, show them how, how it's done? So let's bring the plant over here. I think this corner is good because you don't have other, other stuff. So let's do this. Okay, go to the corner. Yeah. 
I will do the explanation later, okay? We, we, because uh, we, we need to save some time. You take the reading first, and then once you're done, you come back so that I can explain how does it work. Okay, get the image first, okay? All right, um, go to see how it's done. Or maybe you want to take as well. I think the file can be renamed immediately after you've taken it. So to prevent confusion, after you've taken it, rename the file. Is it on? Why is it not showing other stuff? Maybe you need to restart? We'll do the explanation later. We just take the image first because we need to wait for one hour. You can find the slides in the Skype, okay? Actually, this Skype, uh, I give them to the DOA officers like a month, no, two months back. Is it on? Is it not on? Yes, everything, everything hang this morning. Cannot access OneDrive, cannot properly connect my computer. Maybe we should be holiday today again. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Why? Uh, testing as well, I'm learning. What is it? Is it work? Very good, must be some good fun. Yeah. 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 It keeps it keeps on. Wait, not for um book up function screen mirroring uh no screen mirror. for your projection and then connect to this phone for our computer um, project connect to a wireless you can left handy So connect projecting to this PC. Um,
Can you please explain to them how it's done? So, so this thing it's got different palette. This this coloring scheme, it's got different uh, way to do it. This is called rainbow. Okay, um, to take it, maybe you need to fix the distance from the subject between you. Okay, so take two angles, one from the front and the other maybe from the top. Okay. Um, can you change the palette later? Use two palettes. This palette and maybe the other is the the yeah. We use. Eh. What about the blue right? Let's let's see the blue. Blue right. Uh, see the selection again. I want to see. Uh, which one? Um, see the hottest. Hottest. Can you go a bit further to the back? Just one tile back. Can you um, turn the lens to, to focus? Turn the lens to focus. Okay, all right, all right, okay, clearer just now. Okay, that looks clearer. Um, so with this camera, there is another view as well. Can you click the double twin view to show them the camera can actually work side by side? Yeah. So this is the thermal camera. This is the uh, phone camera, okay? Well, due to the different resolution, that's why you get it uh, this way. But not to worry, later you can crop to match the resolution for this um, uh, image, okay? So, okay, take the image for each group, take maybe two or three different palette scheme. Doesn't matter, I'll give you to choose. Okay, take from the side here and also take from the upper side. All right, okay, uh, can do it? Yeah. Okay, good. Play around, play around. And then save the image. Can you show them how it's safe? No. Save it. No, go go there so that demo. Can you remove this uh, thing away? Yeah. So the first group, you might want to go and see how it's done. <clears throat> After you have snapped it, uh, save the image, put your group name so that we know. That's your group's uh, plan. Tunggu internet kat sini. Internet kat? Tak, tadi macam tu. Kenapa? Internet. Tak boleh nak masuk ke mana? Please explain to them so that they understand what's going on.
So this is why usually we use tripod with the camera to to the. It 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 was fine with this, but this is not working for some reason. So you got the image. Okay. Uh, can yeah, it should be fine. It should be fine. It, this is for exercise. At least you know what's going on, All right? Okay. Can you rename this so that you know this is your group? Wow. You need to click the yeah. Yeah, rename it. It's in Korean because I bought it in Seoul. That's why. Oh. <laughs> I bought this a few years ago. That time, Malaysia, this zero. <laughs> Uh, that time is about if you convert our currency, it's about three thousand, three thousand five hundred. Yes, from the top as well. Yeah, you you can turn the lens, okay? If you want to focus, turn the lens because you can spin it a bit. I got cheese. <laughs> Don't you want to show them? You can actually put the temperature. The image should have the temperature thing. You see, you can point the temperature here. There's a function. Um, let them take first. Yeah, turn on that temperature thing. So if you pick the point, I think, you pick that. This is a bit difficult because the screen, it's just not big. This, this, that's why we're using this, but this one is not working for some reason. Yeah. So you can have all of this. Yeah. So yeah, maybe okay. So pick pick a spot and then maybe take the image. Take take a few image so that this is for your own report later. Yeah, you happy? Yeah, you know you can take video with this as well. Okay. So since one of you, you know what, to make things uh, a bit more efficient, maybe the actual image use somebody else's camera from the group to match this. So your friend already taking this image using the thermal camera, use somebody else's camera to match the result image there so that you can put side by side for comparison. All right. Okay. Yeah. You know, you can take the image later when you turn on the light because this is a regular camera. Okay, next. So next group, you want to play around? Don't worry. Uh, while we are waiting for one hour later, you can play around further with this. I need to see what's wrong with this thing. So next group. Okay, one group is done. Bring over here so that we can do the chlorophyll. Come. The other group, you can do, do the um, thermal. 
Maybe. Let's start. Banyak sangat tengok cerita lah tu kan. Okay. Alright. Mi nak tunjuk Mi? Okay, hold this. So this has been um, pre-darkened for you. So, yeah, open it. You, but you need to remember this leaf, okay? Open it. So after you open it and then take the reading from the green part and also the red part, a back seal, and then when you're done, do the same again for the a back seal, and then that's it. Okay. Yeah, somebody need to record because this thing it doesn't have a memory. Okay, somebody please take the reading. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. And then later somebody take the equivalent image using a regular camera so that you can put side by side. Uh, and then take the one with the temperature curve. Okay, that's working. Mm. Yeah, that's recording. You need to take image. You can take later with the regular camera. Don't worry if the resolution is not the same because you can crop to, to match it. You got the scale because the tile is present. So don't worry. Yeah, yeah. And then when you're done, water it. Letak dekat sebelah for one hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. Mm. Good. Dang it, dang it, dang it.
Okay, you, you, you can turn the lens if you want to focus. Jadi tak? Hmm, bolehlah tu. Okay, are you done? Are you done? Okay, if you're done, remember the leaf that you have taken, tie something to it or something, water it. Water it profusely and then bring to the lab. Maybe, maybe water it next door so that the water is not dripping. Ni, lepas dia orang dah siram dekat sebelah ni, letak dekat, turn on rak lampu tu. Letak dekat mana-mana lah cahaya. Kependek sangat rak tu, benda tu tak muat. Kalau tak muat, kalau tak muat, bagi daun yang dia measure tu saja kena cahaya pun cukup. Kita tak tengok Okay. Guys, see this one on that? That's the one that's the one that's the one. I think I need to do it. Do it if I see it. Yeah. Kata nak guna memang lampu ni? Ah, tak kisah. Nak bagi yang dia ambil reading tadi tu. Untuk letak bawah cahaya. Ya. So, kita letak biar dia sejam. So, lepas sejam, kita balik macam tadi. Apa tu dah? Cukup untuk hari ni. <coughs> okay, come here. Um, water first. Uh, a tray, yeah. Get, get a tray. Get a tray. Get a tray because that's going to drip. Please take image, okay? Because you need to do report. Okay, put it in a tray. Water it. And then leave it under the light for one hour. You don't have to expose the whole plant to the light. Just the leaf that you have taken the measurement earlier under the light because we want to activate the enzyme. <laughs> water the plant, water the tree, who's going to drink? I thought like the root outside. <laughs> so in the pot, no root. Uh, hi, hi, hi. So you done? Yeah. Um, so you need to take the, okay, bring this down first. Don't water it. Bring it down. So you need to open this, but you need to remember this thing, okay? So take the measurement using what's the exact thing? Okay, what? Spectrometer? Is it with them? Ah, that's one of them. Hold this. So we're going to take the measurements on two parts of the leaf, the green part and also the red part, and then turn it over, green part, the red part. Yep. And then you water it. No, no, don't water it here, water it next door. And then put it under light, this leaf. And then we take the measurement again, one round, after one hour. <sighs> okay, Oi, explain. Eh, sebenar nak buat macam mana? Eh, sebenar nak buat Yes, open it. Somebody need to record because this thing doesn't have a memory. Yeah.
Uh, actually, you need to take uh, from the three different sides. Three different. So is that red or green? Uh, this one is the third one. I think you need green. Because you need to take the average of the reading. Yeah, first, uh, all the other pairs, and then when you take out the two digits, press the average. Okay. Oh, button. And then we get the average. Oh. Okay. You're taking the green first, huh? The red one. The red one. Huh? Doesn't matter. Oh, doesn't matter. Okay. What's the reading? 24. Okay. Okay. Now the? Green. One. Green. No, the green no, of the green same green. same side. You need to work on the both a back seal and a deck seal. Okay. So turn it. Yep. Do the same. If you get weird readings, meaning that you hit the vein, you need to move a bit. Don't take the reading from the vein. It needs, it needs from the tissue. Okay, okay. Okay, you know, <laughs> Okay. Okay, and then move a bit down to cover for the green part. Yeah, if it hits the vein, it is going. It's going to look weird. Okay, got it. All right. Okay. So, um, take the leaf, bring next door to be watered and put under the sun, sunlight, like LED light. Come, come this way. Ah. So, are you done? So, time for one hour. And then you can go back to the class. I'll like how, how does it work. So, make sure the leaf is actually under the light. Okay. Okay, good. 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 Alright, okay. So, wait for me there because I need to explain to the other group. Can, can you call them? Oh, it's they're coming. Uh, put it in the tray and then water it. That is Zukami, red part, uh, reading a bit tinggi than the green part. Is it correct? We'll see. Uh, we'll so see. It's not an error or... Like no, you, the reading is the reading, okay? okay. We will let out the reading and then you learn how to interpret the reading based on the actual physical of the plant that you just took. How about it? It's not about wrong or right. It's, it's, it's about... Uh, you have taken... Then you interpret it. How about theoretically, the red part should be higher or the green part? What do you think? <laughs> yeah. So, this take picture because you need to do your report, okay? Alright. Okay. So, after, just before you remove it after one hour, Take one more time with the thermal here. Meaning that we can do the thermal here. We don't have to do it next door. Okay. All right. Um, let's come back so to learn about the theory. Come here. Go back to the class. So somebody should have to stop somebody.
Boleh, boleh, boleh aja. Uh, benda ni. Oh, ke connect ni dekat uh, display. Turn off display and bone. Connect display ni ke situ. kena update sama dah tak update Tak apa, bukan eh, nak ni dulu, nak buka ni dulu, slide dulu. Tapi kenapa dia tak? Uish, benda ni. Benda ni dah, dah boleh. Tak okay, salah. Ah, uh, okay, okay, alright, okay. Alright, so tak apa. Ah, uh, benda ni kita kita buka Skype sekejap Bukan nota di sini tak sangat kan? Pun, cukup kita buka IT. Kan? Memang, memang tak boleh sekelegal ni tak boleh hebat Okay Alright Okay, is everyone here? All good? All good? Okay Just get to know this Okay, so you are dealing with so, um, experiment today using um, the light, not the light, the chlorophyll meter. So, uh, I just want to, to tell you the, the science behind it. How does it work? Firstly, we go with the same. Okay. All right. So, SPEC 502, that's the, the model for this. SPEC is not actually the name of the equipment. It's actually, actually the name of the company. Soil plants analysis and development spec, right? So it's possible. One thing you need to understand about this is it doesn't oh, keep one. Oh, the mouse is not working. I need to use this. So it's from Inota from Japan, right? Okay, let's see how does it work. So in this machine. It's equipped with a laser. Okay, so the top here is got a laser. You can see
wavelength. You can see the wavelength there. 653 nanometer and also the 931 nanometer. 653 is called the visible red light. Okay, red VL sometimes um, people call it. Okay, while the 931 is the far red, infrared. Okay, basically you can't see it because that's the limitation of your eyes retina, but you can feel it in the form of heat. Okay. You put your hand close to your friend, not touching your friend, and you can feel something emanating from the body. That's the far right, the infrared. Okay, you can't see it, but you can feel it. Right? And so when you have leaf sample here, the red color is going to be absorbed for photosynthesis. Okay. Because remember the reaction centers, the special chlorophyll A molecule that are present in the photosystem, P680 and also P700. So these are going to absorb the red color given off by this LED um, laser here. All right. <clears throat> and then what happened to the, um, the other light? So the other light is pretty much what we call transmitted through the leaf because it's not it's not used okay so if the leaf contains significant amount of chlorophyll because the leaf is healthy much of this will be absorbed the red light okay red light will be absorbed and also some amount of the far red infrared will be absorbed as well Okay, but if the leaf is not healthy, like maybe the leaf is yellowing or senescing, the visible right is not going to be absorbed because there's nobody doing photosynthesis actively. Okay, and then the detector is going to detect whatever amount that is present after the leaf has utilized it, and it will calculate. Um, to get the chlor chlor um, chlorophyll content index, CCI, okay? Because this thing purely depends on the ratio of the two wavelength and also the ratio of the known amount of light given and also the, risk, the um, perceived light at the end of the... Um, laser receiver here there is no unit for this okay the unit is called AU Here's the whiteboard get the whiteboard here <coughs> remember okay not not all equipment has units sometimes it's just about the ratio like this one it's just the ratio so the, ratio, the, the, the way you express it, we call it AU, absolute unit, okay? So let's see, um, what's the reading that you got just now? Um, so this group, to what? what? What group are you? On what? So let's see, so you have your um, adaxial, and then you have the reading for the green and reading for the red. Wait, I'll, I'll make it um, for, for the other group as well. Um, I, I wanted you to write on, your, on, on this. So, like so. Can you come here and write the Ah? Oh, kenapa tak ambil red? Tak nampak. Oh, say again. There's no red color in the back side of it. Really? Why why can I I can see the right side of it? This is why you need to understand the the morphology of the leaf. Your your leaf looks something like this. This is the morphology of your leaf. 
have a quick look. It seems like your leaf has a very sharp boundary. So this is the red. This is the green. So the top part is the red. It's true for both a dexial and a vexial. Even after you have turned the leaf. That's how you do it. Okay. Anyway, um, can you come and write the value so that we can see? Rob, walk through, put your value there. Okay, not to worry, not to worry. And this is three darken, okay? Three darken. And then you will have again after one hour on the light. We'll see anything happening or not. All right, so let's see. So for the adaxial, adaxial, this is adaxial, okay? Adaxial, the top part, up. And then for the down, adaxial. Under. So for the green, you get 29. For the red, you got 32. All right. So for the abaxial, you got green 28. Okay. All right. For the chufa, you get 35, 34. Okay. Is it the same? So the red is small. So this is okay, and for this for this group, this one is, and for this, eh, this, no statistics today. Don't no worry. Hmm. Similar pattern? No. No. Okay. Why the pattern is not similar? Potentially why? So for the on part, we just look at the, the adex, okay? Because both of you got the adex already. <clears throat> so for the green part, it's 35. For the red part is 34. So it's not that much of a difference. Okay. To to um to understand this better, after you're done with the lighting, plug the leaf, take the image so that you can see. Um remember I've shown you the color grab analysis. Was it the class or the other class? I don't remember. Have I shown you the color grab analysis? Oh God. I'll show you in a bit. I'll show you in a bit. Okay. All right. So potentially why? Why? Why they are different? What do you think? Why for the adaxial for this group, the green has less, but for the red, I got more. Partly usually because of the way you are sampling it. How do you sample it? Did you take the three? Did you take the three reading for this group? No. no. So which 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 side you are taking? Don't know. Don't remember. What about the other group? Did you take three reading? Okay, you took it. So did you take it something like this? Something. All right. 
So the other group, they got it more representative. Okay? So, leaf has this quality called heterogeneity. <clears throat> it's not completely red here. It's not. Some greens are actually present. So, the danger of small, small point taken is the laser, this laser here, might actually hitting the part that contains more chlorophyll or otherwise. Okay, so this experiment, it shows you that eyes can be deceiving. Just because you see that the part is actually red, it's actually something going on in the actual tissue. Okay, to your eyes, it looks red. But this is about how chlorophyll is present, whether in abundance or not. Okay, so don't be deceived by your eyes, right? Okay, don't worry, result is result, result is result, okay. So I just want to quickly compare this group. So there's not much difference, okay, so more or less the same. And actually, this is not much different as well, right? Hmm. Why do you, why do you think it can be again different? If you create a graph of chlorophyll content from here to here, if you put it on the graph, and this is your total chlorophyll content in your AU unit, and then this is the distance, you will, you will see that the chlorophyll usually looks something like this. If you ever get to take the point from top to bottom. Okay, so this is to show you another way of superimposing actual image with graph that, that you might have taken from different point. Okay. So maybe if you want to, to be um, uh, a bit more explorative about it, take one leaf and then take the thermal image of it. See the segments of the thermal here. The green here. What's the temperature? After this, okay? Not now. Let the leaf to photosynthesize for a bit. The red here. What's, what's the temperature? Okay. This actually comes to the whole point of detecting chlorophyll content here. So this scale here is for rice. Okay. So rice in the field, farmers you can use this equipment to to decide whether or not to put more nitrogen on or otherwise. If the leaf is in this region, one, two, three, that actually a sign of nitrogen insufficiency okay so the farmers they can start to put more urea right but when it's in the region of four five six you don't have to put a lot of urea because the soil is, is abundance of it remember nitrogen can come from external sources if there's a lot of storms and lightning then you get your the rain nitrogen Available nitrogen is going to increase in the soil. All right? <clears throat> so, you can actually take this leaf of various stages, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then 
send it to the lab. Send it to the lab so that you know if number one, the reading is 20.1 and then you got the color, how you describe the color? Yellow green. Yellowish green. I want to use this color grab. Let's see. One moment. Uh, how do I do it? Why is it not here? Did I throw it away? My phone likes to uninstall apps for me for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, it's here. Can you can you grab this? Can you can you not you grab this? Can you install this thing? Um this this Huawei. I hope it has um do I need to agree? Agree Jala. Color grab. Install it. Can you please install this? Have you have I have I shown you how to use this? This class, I don't remember. No? Yes? No, 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 no. Okay, it's fine. So download it for a bit. So anyway. Let's look at the color. It's so slow. Why is it so slow? Oh, no, some more. Can you, can someone go to the room next door? Plug one leaf for me, the collier's leaf. Plug one leaf. Any leaf, any leaf from, from the pot. Okay. Okay, let's do the, you need to calibrate first. Okay, um, to calibrate, you press the balance figure here, bottom left. Okay, and find white image. All right, okay, it, it just do the tick thing. So that's good. White reference? Okay, got it. We do the white balance. You need to find a white, white. Uh, uh, don't point here. You can point to, to, your, to your place. Okay. Uh, where's the leaf? Okay. Let's see. What does it call this color? What reference is that? I don't want to do what reference. What do you do? Do what reference? Okay, got it. I already got done it. Why is it not? Okay. You need to use this lighting. Are you selected? You're selected. So that I can show it here. What do we have here? Oops, oops. Oh, I got glue actually.
Can I work? Can I work? Can I work? Can I work? Oh no. No. No, it's okay. Obviously. Calligram, come on, wake up. My my tablet is always like that. Can you see the color? Okay. So after you have captured the color, you need to press you need to press on the screen, okay? To to tell the, the this thing. That's the color that you want. Um and then you go to let me see. Oh not not that not that. I think this thing looks, looks a bit different now. Why is it different? Um what? Oh, it's okay. Okay. Can you see? These are the description of the color. So, a little caveat when you're using this. Make sure the lighting is consistent. Okay, you can see how the lighting kind of affects the way your equipment is perceiving the, the green color. Okay. So, um, Anybody is opening the green of the chlorophyll scale? You think? Because I can open me. This thing. Or use your, your color grab. Tell me the reading. What's it called? Green. Okay. Crystal, crystal, crystal green. <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever. Um, what's the value of the green? Hundred oh nine RGB. Read me the RGB. 109, 176. 108, 108, 20? 28. 28. Okay. All right. And when you go to, let's say, that scale number, this thing, scale number six, or number four, number four. That's, this is scale number one. And this is scale number four. What's the reading of number four? What's the RGB? 14, 89. 14, 89, 19. All right. Okay. So even though the reading of your chlorophyll meter is not um, quantitative, meaning that it gives you value, you can turn it into value. One way is by using this thing, by, by getting the RGV value, the red, green, blue. So you can, you can use it later, soon, take the leaf, under the consistent lighting, get the RGB for this region here and also this region here. <clears throat> so then you can make a connection here. If the spec meter reads 20.1 AU, the reading of green here is 176. Yeah. However, when the reading of a uh, chlorophyll meter is 36.2, the reading here is 
What's the grain? 89. So why the green, the green, the green is less now? This is actually to answer your question. Why the green is less now? Shouldn't the green is more? What 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 has increased here? Between these two, this thing, um, yellow green, right? Ye yellow green. This is dark green. How come the one with the dark green, when people don't, nobody wants to use it, it's on? How come the one with the dark green has lesser green value? What, what has increased here? Is it red or blue? Blue. Red now has decreased. Blue now has increased, but that's very slightly. It increased like what? How, how much now? 11? This is go down by 102. And this is go down by, oh, how much? 176 minus 89. Somebody do the math? It is? Eighty-seven. So why, why, why did it, that there is a dis discrepancy now? Why is it? You need to think it this way. The reason you are getting um, more color of something, the reason is because that something is not using the color. That's why you get the color. Okay? Can you understand it? So when you have a leaf and then it looks very deep green. Remember, the green, for sure, the leaf is not using it. What is other color that make it deeper green? So in this case, apparently, it's blue. So you are seeing, actually, a bruised leaf. You know when you bruise, it looks darker, right? That actually thanks to blue color. The red here is even less. Remember photosynthesis. It uses what color? Red, right? So the red is highly used. So that's why you get red, less red here. Highly used for something. In this case, for your, for your leaf for photosynthesis. Okay? So the nature color palettes kind of coincide with electronic color description. It's just electronic color description. It's based on the pixel color coming out from it. But when it comes to the leaf, there is a biological reasoning behind it. So that's why you know for the leaf of 36.2 under the scale of number 4, you have less red because the red is highly used for photosynthesis. But for the scale number one, the red is slightly higher because it's been less used by photosynthesis. All right? Okay? So, something like that. All right? Okay. Let's go to the other equipment. Oh, any question? For this? All good? All good. All right, that's the thermal image now. So the thermal image now, how much time left before one hour is up? Is it almost up now? Five minutes? 25, okay. So thermal image. <clears throat> so thermal image, 
the way it works. The company is Thermal Expert. The, the model is i3. Okay, let's, see, let's, let's look at this example here. So when you take thermal image, it's not just because you want to know the temperature of the plant, whether the plant is in fever or not. This is not relevant to the plant, okay? The plant, if it's in fever, still doesn't get MC. Still have to photosynthesize. There is no off day from for the plants, okay? <clears throat> so when you have this um, two um, genotype of plant, it's a P plant actually, P gen P. You can see that on the left side is the drought sensitive, while the other side is the drought tolerant. Okay. During drought. What is scarce? Water. So water is very precious. So what's the optimum situation? Do you want to conserve the water or do you want the plant to waste the water? Conserve the water. So look at here. When the plant is transpiring, releasing water from the body, it's going to get cooler. Okay? If in our tropical condition, ample water, no problem with water, so on. This is okay, all right? But when the drought situation is hitting that particular region, plants that cannot regulate stomata opening will have trouble because they don't know when to shed the stomata to conserve the water. The example is seen on the left side here. During drought, the stomata should be closed to conserve water. But the plants, which is drought sensitive, opening the stomata resulting in cooler plant. All this color, the blue, the green, is actually in this region here. Okay. So that's about, I think, uh, can you read the, the color here? That's about 20. 5, 30 something, I think, right in the middle here. Yeah, 30 something. Then we're going to look at the genotype, which is drought tolerant. Why is it drought tolerant? There are many reasons. One of the reasons is it, it can regulate the stomata very, very efficiently, meaning that the moment it senses a scarcity of water, it's going to close the stomata. So you might wonder, can the plants do photosynthesis if the stomata are closed? How is it going to get CO2 in? Stomata, even though they are closed, like this is your stomata. Even, even, even when they, they are completely closed, when they are closed, they're going to look something like this. Yeah, when they are open, they will look something like this. Open, close. I'll close it even further. The gas can still minimally go into the tissue. Not as much, but still can to follow the concentration gradient. When the CO2 is used by the plant in the Kelvin cycle, the CO2 concentration in the tissue is going to drop. When it drops below the atmospheric concentration, which is about 400 ppm, this is going to naturally draw the CO2 in. Naturally drawn, okay? So the CO2 can still go in, but the plant is not photosynthesizing a lot, but it still can do it. But the good thing is when it's completely close here, the, the water cannot escape very much. So CO2 go in minimally equals water vapor going out minimally. The plant can survive this, right? 
So that's why for the right side image, you can see that since the transpiration of the plant is highly reduced due to the closing of the stomata, the top uh, image there, it gets hotter. It gets hotter. And this is translated into this image on the right here. Okay. So you can see that much of the plant is actually in the region of what? The red here. That's approaching 38, which is which is which is high. All right. Can the plant photosynthesize if it gets too hot? Can it do it? So usually when the plant is drought tolerant. It's not only because the stomata can be controlled efficiently, even the protein is more resistant to the heat. Okay, so plants have this um, many protein, for example, the HSP, heat shock protein. Okay, so heat shock protein pretty much um, repair all the proteins fragments in the cell after it has been broken down by extreme heat. Okay, so all this um, anatomical biochemical and physiological adaptations enable a genotype to be drought tolerant and as a result you can see in the real image at the bottom here the drought tolerant going to look bushier a lot healthier compared to the drought sensitive which is a lot slimmer all right okay so this is one use of, of the thermal image, okay? There are so many other use, all right? Can you think of potentially some of the use? What about your experiment just now? You water it. You don't water it earlier, right? So you can actually see, can under, in, in one hour, the water that you give in the ground get transpired out of the leaf will the temperature change or not if the water is quickly absorbed and then transpired out of the leaf the leaf will be cooler and if one plant is hotter than the other because the, the pots is actually looks different you can tell that one plant is having a more efficient vascular system than the other because without proper piping, the plant cannot deliver the water up the transpirational stream, okay? causing the plant to be hotter for longer. But plants with a proper piping system, the plumbing system, meaning that the vascular system is very healthy, xylems and so on, it's going to get cooler faster. All right? Yeah. But it's going to be tricky because you put it right under the... That's why... Another reason is we put it under the sun, not the sun, the LED, right? Because we want, we want to see if you give a lot of heat, can the plant transpire a lot now? There are many reasons why water cannot go up to do the proper transpiration. One, one reasoning is... Um, this is equivalent to human atherosclerosis. You know atherosclerosis, the building of plaque in your artery? Plant got that as well. Okay, something similar. We call it <coughs> xylem embolism. So when you have your xylem vessel here, there is a nick here. Nick, a wound. So when this happened, water cannot properly go out. It actually can leak it, leak, leak. Or the speed of the water is reduced. So instead of properly cooling the whole plant, because you are putting it right under the, the, the light now, it will take much longer compared to the healthier plants. All right? So this is how you speculate. It seems like the plant is taking longer than the other to, to cool down. Maybe there is something wrong with the vascular system of this plant. To your physical, look at all of your friends. Everything looks healthy, right? But nobody knows if, if someone got cancer. Can you? 
Okay, like I said, it's too much. Okay, nobody know if your, your, your friend got heartbroken. Last night got dumped. Night. Don't want to be with you anymore. Bye. For the third time this month, and it's already not even finished January. So you got a very intense heartbreak due to your consecutive dumping. Your boyfriend just not into you. Yeah. So this kind of translated into your internal breakage. But physically, do you change? Or maybe you look uglier because, you know, you don't want to eat, don't want to take shower and everything. But you're still you on the outside. But in the inside, plan is pretty much like that. On the inside, there's something. Something else is happening. That's why people learn plan physiology. So that you can know. So when, when, when we have all of this, oh, why, what happened? All of this information, you can see that you can diagnose the plan and give the right recommendation. Yeah. Not necessarily to add more fertilizer. Maybe you just need to water the plant, actually. The, the plant is, is lacking water. There's a lot of nutrient in there. All right? Okay. All right. So that's about it. Yeah. Okay. So any question up to this point? All right? Okay. All right. How much time left? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. No. Nine minutes, nine minutes. Okay, so um, so I suggest you um, you can use this um color grab. Actually, this is this this is a lot useful when you were in lockdown. You know, student cannot go in. You know, people need to use a lot of things in the lab, but they can't use it. Yeah, this is very very helpful. But the thing is, you need a proper lighting to do this. You cannot change um, um, the, 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 the lighting. Take a color of your friend. Oh, your pill. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Um, so let's see how much we can. Yeah. So. Let's see your results. Hey, did you take with this one? Not right. Oh, you put it in the sky. Let's see in this sky. Oops. Oh, got just got stamp spam. Except and don't ask me again. Um, let's use this. Why there's so much Korea in there? <gasps> Next time, move move it a bit so that the the reading of your temperature is not on your plant. So what what's the temperature of your plant? So the lowest is 19. 90 is actually this style. This style is 19. And 25, actually this thing, this whole curve needs to be on your plant here. Okay. Now you are actually taking the reading from, from the tiles. It's okay. This is, this is for learning. Okay. So let's see. Um, I want to see. Maybe other group. Is it the same? It's the same. It's the same. You know what? Sometimes you got this kind of image and then you're already done with your experiment. Then what to do? What are you going to do? How are you going to take the, the temperature of your plant? Okay. Look at here. Um, 
your plant here, some of your plant, this is your plant, right? Do you have the equivalent? I hope you have the equivalent image in the reality. You can see that not all of your plant of the same temperature. This side of your plant is actually a lot cooler compared to the other side. So look at the real plant. Do they, do they differ? Why? Why is it? Why? Anybody can tell me why. If you go tell me, you don't have to take second test. Why? Why the canopy? You got you got canopy. So the, the bottom canopy is a lot cooler because you got this um, blue blotches color, which is approaching earlier twenties in the centigrade degree. But in the top canopy here, that's a lot warmer. Why is it? Closer to the light is closed. The shut. If anything, it should be cooler because it's facing the wall. The wall is cool. If anything, it should be cooler. Wrong. Bye. <laughs> Why? Why the, the bottom branch is cooler? Energy is higher. If energy is higher, should it's it's in the dark. How come you're photosynthesizing photosynthesizing in the dark? Didn't you shut the light just now? That's so how come it's photosynthesizing? The blue parts, the leaves are dense, are more dense than the blue parts. They all come together, then it's more chilly. Is it true? Do, do you have the image? <laughs> well, if it's true, it begs another question. Why there are more leaves on the bottom canopy? Okay. It's dense. Okay. So, if it dense... Why is it cooler? <laughs> if it does, it's fine. The canopy is denser than the top canopy. Why? 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 Why is it denser? I I I just give you the answer on 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 the board. Okay. Okay. It's something to do with transpiration. Okay. What about it? Why? What happened to the lower canopy? This canopy, yeah, lower canopy, which is cooler. Why? Okay. All right. Okay. Um. That, that actually, we can put this into perspective by putting it um, side by side. How do I put it this side by side? Um, you know, this, this tablet can split into two. I forgot how. Any, anybody know? No, I want to split the, the screen of this tablet into two. Multi screen or something? It's got multi screen. That's screenshot. Mm. Curve shiny. Forgot lah. Oh, what's that? What's that? I keep on. So lah, the tablet tapi tak lagi nak guna kan? You know tablet got, can you have uh, two, two windows? Did this thing can do it as well, but I, I don't remember how. Oh, 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 can you send your image of the actual plan? 
Oh, oh, is it in the sky? This one? Yes. Uh, and then we can make it. I think just now is fine. Oh, okay. And then the sky down there. Okay. Cool. Thank you. That's a sign of aging because now I forgot what to do and the student have to show me. Ooh. Aging, aging aku pun still arti lagi kan. Okay. What's the difference now between the, the, the bottom, the bottom canopy, this bottom, and the top canopy? What's the difference? It's, it's cooler. Uh, more dense, more lean, more consideration. Yeah, like why? Nobody want to answer? If I answer, I got 100 marks for myself. <laughs> you know, plant scientists actually sangat penat, especially physiologists, because many orang will attack you to, to ask all this kind of question. Why? Why? Do you know why? Do you know why? Why the, the, the plant on the lower side is cooler than the upper side? Why do you think? When you look at the, the actual image here, why is it cooler? I don't know. I do not know. Your friend said that it's transmission. Okay, we know. It's a transmission. Then why? More mature leaf. More mature leaf? Which one? Okay, what maturely has to do with transpiration? More stomata. Most. <laughs> we cannot prove stomata more or less now because it's just not possible unless you look it under microscope. Because um, leaf, they can have um, differential stomata even within the same leaf. Stomata, we don't go to stomata because that's a complicated story. Okay. Baru cakap stomata, don't go there. <coughs> nobody, nobody. Yeah, transpire. Okay, then why, why, why the bottom? More, more leaf is not the problem. Not even if you remove the leaf, it's going to have the similar signature coloring. The, the bottom canopy, you said that it's uh, more leaf, right? If I scissor away some of this leaf, it still look cooler than the top canopy. Why is it? Because the distance of the roots from the roots because uh, they need to uh, uptake the water from the roots onto to the leaf. Okay. So the bottom part has the uh, nearest distance compared to the Okay, why is that? <laughs> why, why, why the distance is, is shorter? At the bottom? <laughs> yeah, how do you describe it? Why? why? You said the distance yeah. is shorter. Yeah. Why the distance is shorter? How do you describe it? <sighs> getting there, getting there, getting there after after like 20 minutes. Why, 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 why? How, how do you describe it? Look at the plant architecture. Obviously, your plant is a shrub. Shrub got branching. So, one branching is obviously a lot shorter than the other. This is a long branch. Long arm, short arm, short arm. So why does this happening? That's the question. So it's true what she said just now. Since this guy here is shorter, you will have faster rate of H2O living. 
because it's just closer to the ground compared to the longer arm, longer branch. It just takes longer. Then the, my question is, why? Why the division? Why? Why? You have learned about the phytochrome. You should know about it by now. What happened when the plant is not receiving light? What, what will happen to the stretch of the plant? It will become taller or shorter if it becomes less light? Taller. So meaning that this plant, this pot, it has been placed in a not even sunlight. So one branch, the, the back branch, the top branch, is actually receiving less sunlight. It becomes the shade branch. The bottom branch is the sun branch. That's why it's shorter. Uh, you see, that's why it's important to understand phytochrome effects. Right? Okay, I win. Yay. <laughs> you, you didn't answer it uh, finish, uh, full. I ask you why. <coughs> can, can, can you understand what's going on? <laughs> This group, can you understand what, 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 what's the story now? Can you, can you get it? So you have a pot of plant. You place this pot of plant in your garden. Apparently, our garden is being surrounded by building, shadow over casting. So naturally, some plants going to receive more light. Some is going to receive less light. So those who are receiving lots of light, they become what? The sun type. Characteristic of sun type. Sun type meaning that does, you know, phytochrome got, got lots of activated and more. They are shorter because the light is there. Why do I need to become taller? Just stay in my, my natural happy height. However, some part of the garden here not receiving enough light. So the branch or the plant need to reach out for the light. So it becomes slender. That's the word. It becomes slender. Slender. Tall and slim. Slender. This is why when you look back at your pot late soon, one branch is shorter, the other branch is, is, is higher. That's the reason. That's the reason. Okay? Right? Okay, get it? Nice. All right. Okay, uh, I think you can go back to check your plants and repeat back whatever you have done and then jot down and then we can quickly discuss and we're done with it. All right? Okay? All right, okay, you can go. Um, uh, you don't have to bring it back here. Uh, you can take everything and do it over there. Maybe you want to use this? I think this one is, is, is working now. Uh, yeah, it's working now. So you can use it. Yeah. And don't forget the chlorophyll meter. So repeat back whatever that you've done. Yeah. Go, 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 go. One group take the uh, chlorophyll meter first, the other take the uh, thermal, then you can swap later. You can save the time. Maybe can, you can use that corner or something. <laughs> Thank you. 
One side is taller. You can take more than three every day. Kau tak main gaming tinggal Zul ke? Kata dia ada nak bagi markah SKT. Oh, dah semua. Oh. Kan tak dia tak sudah lagi. Dia kata macam ada lagi staff ada dia, staff dia tak sudah lagi. Ah ada dua tiga orang lagi. Dua semalam pun dia pergi meeting saya pun semalam. Ah itulah. Tu jangan habis hari ni tu. <coughs> Dan ni nak, nak keluar bajet ni nak beli mesin ni. Ah. Ha ha. hari tu cakap bila doktor Bible lah dia cakap ada kafe saya aku rasa. Ah kami sah. Ah ada kami sah. Dia doktor. Aku baru balik semalam aku sama aku sampai. Ah kan tak ada aku pergi ni. Ha, settle dah lah pagi tu. Sabar, sabar dia macam semua tempat aku nak kenal dia sekarang. <laughs> so nak tengok mesin tu. Gila? Kota free pula. Tu lah sebab ada kerja dengan Azwan ni kan. Lepas tu uh, dia orang suruh aku check soalan final pula. Eh apa <laughs> moderasi soalan uh, perisaan akhir. Nak kena hantar esok lah benda tu. Uh, Aku buat Isnin je. Isnin aku macam dah tak ada bendera kot. Ha. Isnin. Maksudnya Isnin kelas ni. Kelas ni habis pukul 10. Kat situ juga. Ha. So habis kelas ni. Okay. Ha, uh, kau warm up saya siap. Ha. Lepas tu kita go through. Ha. Tak ada siapa guna kan lagi kan? Isnin. Ha. 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 Okay. Mikroskop tu dah macam dah 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 nak jadi rumah hantu lah. Mikroskop tu lah. Mikroskop bilik mikroskop tu. Ah uh, tak mikroskop cahaya ni biasa tu. Ha. Uh -huh. Kabel tak ada dan software rosak benda semua. Ay, aku Bukan aku tak nak ni sebab Yelah aku pun bukan aku koordinator lab mana-mana ha. uh, Tapi sayang lah Benda-benda mahal-mahal apa tu post up benda semua Takkan semua lab aku nak kena um, Tengok kan Dan ha. <laughs> <laughs> sebab, sebab Nurul tak tak ni kan uh, Patutnya dia yang charge di tempat aku Sebab 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 apa Siapa tu yang berhenti kerja tu Tiba, ah kan ayah. katanya dia ni. Ha. Itu dah dia pula. Cuti ah, <coughs> perasaan terganggu sampai 6 bulan. <laughs> aku nak buat macam tu lah. Perasaan terganggu. Boleh tak? Ya, aku nak buat macam tu. Kan? Kau boleh nampak apa benda dalam kan? Kalau luka ni kita boleh kata. Ha. Orang kata dah baik dah tu boleh kerja. Dalam. Betul lah. Boleh tak? Boleh tak? Boleh tak? 
Eh, hey, tak tahu boleh macam tu. Sebab engkau ada gaji, tak gak gaji, itu aman lah buat kerja. Tak penat semua, penat aku. Aku aku ingat aku tak penat. Kita kena kemari benda semua. Lagi kena bergelumang dengan benda. Ada bagang ugalah tu. Tak, kerja biasa. Kadang aku pun ah juga kerja aku tak siap cepat kan. Sebab sebablah kena satu-satu lah nak buat kan. Tapi kita buat. Ah yang aku buat juga semua benda tu. Tak adalah sampai tinggal apa dia. Kita kita tak bagi masa tu jelah. Eh, jadi jadi kau tak faham sebenarnya apa benda kerja yang kau buat yang sampai yeah. kau nak tekan sangat tu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sebab kau tengok dua bulan dia tu kalau kau ikutkan dengan kalau ikut kelas ah, yelah, dia yelah, bulan dia pada hmm. bawah itu. Lepas tu lepas tu cuti sem tak buat apa. Bukan je hmm, buat apa benda. Mereka kalau orang DFSC tu orang menghadap bagi hari tu Eh lah kan, itu mungkin stress sikit lah kot Sebab kau ada alat-alat kan, kau melekat ni alat Jadi kau tak bawa pun relax, okey lah kot Tak bawa pun lah kan Dua bulan je alat itu pun, jadi pagi hari pun berani Dia tak nak ngotot Azizah kan Itu lah tu Tak nak sebab apa Kerja kau Oh, Aziz dah cek engkau ke? Ha, kalau aku jadi KJ kan, apa masa kalau aku jadi KJ lagi bergaduh Jadi <laughs> aku jadi KJ engkau ke? <laughs> Sorok kasut engkau, macam tu? Dengan siapa kalau dengan orang lain pun sama juga Eh, dah kalau macam tu, engkau tukar lah sepuluh apa, partner bekerja pun Sampai aku sudah cerita tak, tak habis Itu tak kena, ini tak kena Hmm. Dah puluh tahun doktor kerja baru cakap Bukan nak burukkan dia lah tadi kita cerita Dah pasal kami tu lah dia cakap Saya tak minta pertanian Kau dah puluh tahun kau dah pun Kau dah rasa marahkan dia baru nak cakap Haa ah, ada, faham ah, ada Anda ah. ada masa ah. banyak tahun yang dulu ah. Untuk bagi tahu surat kata saya nak tukar Sebab saya tak minat ah. bidang ini ah. Boleh tak tukar PTJ ah. Ah, Saya minat ah, apa ni ah, engineering ah, Boleh tak hantar dekat yang kerja dengan mesin-mesin dia macam cikgu tau. Cikgu kan minta bertukar. Bukan yeah. uh, terus diterima tau. Dia tak dapat tu. Nanti lepas 6 bulan dia cuba lagi. Yeah. Untuk tukar. Yeah. Akhirnya kena dapat. Sebab orang minta justifikasi. Yeah. Justifikasi. Alasan tu okey okey lah kan. Tapi dia kalau kau dah kerja sampai 2 dekat baru kau nak cakap kau tak minat. Yeah. Sebab pagi so, pasal kat meeting kan. <laughs> so, semua orang akan macam dia ni kenapa. <laughs> <laughs> tak kerja marah tu memang patut. Ya. Yeah. Itu, itu itu sangat bersebab. Kena, kena marah macam tu memang patut. Kau jadi tak ada dengan kawan-kawan sebab oh, Haris uh, kau tolong kelabu tadi aku tapi dia tak ada. This is why. Oh this is why. This is why aku. Oh. That's why, but the lighting is not even. You, you know what? You know what? This is kind of overshadow. Uh, maybe, maybe use use this. Something white. No, lots of white. I form lah, I form lah. <laughs> I I think iPhone doesn't have color grab. I do not know the equivalent of it. Android, you can only use Android for now. Penat semua orang penat ni buat kerja. Semua penat. Aku baru balik semalam kerja pada benda. Tiga hari buat kerja. Tapi belakang juga kerja. Buat juga. Banyak yang benda aku tak simpan aja tapi engkau engkau kata tak buat dia. Kalau benda tak buat lah rasa tak. Ah kalau benda rasa benda benda rasa. Sebab sebab dah kata kerja memang kerja kau. Need to learn science of color. Oh. But I just I'm just telling you it's possible. Ha. Huh? Okay, uh, what else? Yeah. That's a reading in another format. This is the HSV format. The just just now we learn about the RGB. Yeah.
So HSV, uh, that's the value. So the name is Prasita Gray. Name, any, anybody can put the name. <laughs> Alright? Alright, okay. So uh, take the red part. If you find it difficult, you might want to hold your hand onto something. Because the, the red part is kind of small. Oops. Kind of small. Can make it bigger. Does it look right? Okay. So you have to capture that. That's the that's the color. That's, what color is that? Rainbow. No, the top one. John. It's not, it's not John, it's Yon. Yon. Wow. Yon color. Yon snow. Are young girl me now. Then take the other side of it. Let's go, guys. Okay, when you're done, uh, come back to the lab, okay? The other lab, not this lab. Oops, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. You can use your own phone to play around with it, okay? It's true, you only have to submit one report, but use your phone so that you, you, you can learn how to do it. Oh, uh, Apple, sorry. <laughs> Maybe you can find alternative for that. Jangan lagi. Kau kena update. Ada banyak benda tak update lagi dalam ni. Maksudnya update the tablet and also update the apps. Alright, what time now? <coughs> okay, it's, 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 it's a quarter past ten already. Can you come back to the lab because I need to wrap this up so that you can go uh, home. Okay, so today's report should be a very quick one. One page is enough. Whatever, however you want to do it. You got many, many pretty pictures. Have you taken the pictures? Yes. For the color grab, you can screenshot your phone to include in your report so that you know this is what the interface looks like for these um, apps. Okay? Yeah. Right. Um, so I think that's all for today's um, activity. And this is your final experiment. Because it's already week 13. Alright, okay. So we will have one more class on next Monday. It's actually that we're going to revisit the plant senescence video that you watched. Did you watch it? Yes. Have you answered it? Yes. Did you get all the answer? Yes. Is it alright? Alright. No. <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll check it on, on, on Monday. All right. And so what do you think about plant senescence? Is it interesting? Yeah. Boring? Are you senescent? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you, can, can, you, can you, can we put it this way? So on Monday, um, the plant senescent, it shouldn't be long because you have already washed it. You have already done the exercise. So I plan to finish it in one hour. And then in the final hour, I just want to make sure that all your reports and assignment is accounted for. Because you're already going to have your final. Your final is like what? The first day. Right? Yes. It's the first day. Yes. Not first day. First day. Yeah. Too bad, you cannot change it. It's already on the system. And the final, the questions of the final have been submitted to the moderator now. So they're going to print it tomorrow. Ooh. You want him? I don't want to. Okay, bye. Yes. All right. So what's going to happen next Thursday? So next Thursday, 
will do your uh, test tool. Yeah, so your test tool, I suggest you to come because if you want him, the hint is in the question. The hint for your final, you don't want him. Alright, so you don't come here, but please go to the library. The main library. Go to the main campus. You don't know where the library is? Do you know where the library is? No, you do not know. Can somebody tell later? So go to the library next Thursday. Not Monday. Monday come here. Monday come here. So Thursday, uh, I go to the library. Okay. So follow the instruction and do your second test. And while you are doing it, you will get your hint. Yeah. If you got your hint, that hint, if you read whatever hint is given. That already accounted for eighty percent of the final, right? Okay, so if you don't get get A, something not right with you. All right, okay, all right. Happy, happy. Anybody cannot run? <laughs> I think if you cannot run, the library got wheelchair <laughs> because they got leave. You know, they got leave. You can use the wheelchair and then, you know roll over yourself two sections two sections um i think they're going to scan your metric card if yeah you have your metric card no <laughs> yeah have ready but don't worry if you cannot get in um we will we will um do the i'll i'll, I'll ask the the Office here, there to to to, to let you in. One person can scan, and then drop the sensor, and then you won't close. Oh, that's just. They they need they they need to count the head because that's their KPI for some reason. The the, the library people, okay, all right. So as you can see, I have already uploaded uh, all the videos lesson for here. Um. I need you to do a favor. Actually, favor for your final, okay? Because your final cover all. It's hurtful, right? It's hurtful. It's hurtful. It's hurtful. Okay. Um, do you have time? So let's do this ten minutes. I'll give you a quick instruction what needs to be done. Um, what is it? Okay, <clears throat> so here's the thing. Um, I need you to do the timestamp for this, not for your revision only, but so that in the future, when new students going coming to the class, they can learn as well because not everybody have the luxury sometimes to come to the class. So that people who do not have the luxury come to the class, they can actually learn as well. So what I need you to do is, um, all the lessons have been uploaded, including the test of the rest of it. I need you to do the first step. Um, I'll give you the, the, the link to the document for, for, for this uh, later. So let's say that, what's the first lesson? Uh, genome structure. This has already been done as example to you. So let's say that genome structure is very simple. I think most of my lessons come with a slide. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to put the time according to the video when the slide is mentioned. For example, the slide is talking about chlorophyll. So the chlorophyll slide may be at uh, minutes 5, 40 seconds. Put it this way. Uh, you cannot put it here. I'll give you the document later. Put it this way and put the title of the slide. For example, chlorophyll content. And then you press enter. And then here, you put the keyword. You don't put the whole thing that I said in the video or whatever you heard. Just put the keywords. 
So chlorophyll content, um, what is it? Uh, maybe you want to put the uh, molecule, uh, what a uh, sped meter, sped meter, uh, red sensor, red sensor, and chlorophyll color index. The title of the slide, and then quickly the keywords only. And then move to the next, I don't know, after that I thought what, this is just example, maybe at minute number eight, I mean, okay, we made it number 11, 11, I talk about what? Maybe I talk about photosystem. Photosystem too. So this is easy because this is usually the title of the slide. If I was talking about the slide, okay? Just the title of it. And then what are the keywords? The keywords, it can have like five or six keywords. That's enough. Why I put it this way? So that when we put it into the YouTube here, we can have the... Oh, this thing, this chapter thing. Oh, no. See? So you can actually jump, talk about it, Romeo, and so on. And if people want to, why the description is not here? Uh, oh. oh, I forgot to, I need to, to, to uh, put this. All the keywords is not appearing. The keywords should be appearing here. All this um, timestamp. Um, let me see. You should do to, to other slides, to other lesson. Oh, cell wall. Okay, cell wall. Let's see cell wall. Cell wall. So um, this is a playlist here. So in this playlist, is actually the um, fundamental crop physiology, the AGR3 something. It, you, I know you are advanced, right? Advanced, but still cannot answer simple question. Why? So you can see that I've been talking a lot nonstop since forever. Uh, photoreceptor, plus signals, interaction. Cell wall, yes, cell wall. Let's open cell wall. Okay. Yep. So that people get this kind of thing. This is this is the idea. You know, you know why this is important? So that when people search, not only on YouTube, people search on Google or Bing, because I'm going to have this index in all major search engines. Google, Yahoo, Bing, whatever. So that when, when students want to learn, they know, oh, there is an explanation for this. So you have actually, with this course, not only learn about the physiology subject, but you have actually contributed to the knowledge enrichment to people, all right? And it stays there, all right? Okay? And that is all. And also for your revision, because your final covers it all. Yay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I think that's all. Any question? Any question? Um, let's finish this before your final. Okay, let's say that the final you are not doing so well, you know. Tiba kita mau ada yang jawab dalam Cina. It can happen. Some of you did, did write in Chinese. These are the assignments that are going to patch up your insufficiencies, okay? The system works like this. If I want to give you marks, because your marks is borderline, I need to show the evidence that the students have done efforts. So these are the efforts that you have done. So that the ISO cannot question if I give you extra three marks to change your grade. Because you have done it. You have done it. There is an evidence you have done it. Right? So that's why carry marks are very important. That's why you are given, not just the subject, other subjects, right? People, other lecturers giving all the activities. That's actually to help you with the extra marks given to change your grades. But it needs evidence. I don't know. Other subjects, do they give you extra marks? They give, right? No? Nobody want to give you a mark? <laughs> it depends on the lecturer. Okay? Okay? All right, okay, I think that's all. So uh, I'll see you. Okay, any question? Quick question? All good?
Oh, cannot wait. Uh, all are hugging the bags now, ready to run. <laughs> all right, okay, I think that's all for today. So I'll see you on Monday. All right? All right. See you. Bye. Thank you. you. Yeah, put back in the drawer.